Hi everybody, Dave here from Trust Studios and today I wanted to share with you the beginning of my experiment with these these pole bean babies here and I'll give you guys a closer look but what I have is a five gallon bucket with four three inch net cups and I've zip tied a piece of five inch galvanized wire fence um, to the rim of the bucket because I didn't want to lose the height. I'll show you guys closer. Um, and basically I have solution uh, filling this up. I have master blend in here and I have it coming into the cups about about a quarter of an inch. And um, these babies they're ready to go. So all I gotta do is drop them in the net cups and then I'm going to keep them in here in my studio in the sunny window. I'll show you guys after we after I plant them up and uh, let them acclimate a little bit. And once they start, you know, getting some roots out into the solution, I'll give them a little bit of sunshine, you know, a couple hours uh, a day for a few days, and then they should be all right to go out in the full sun. And we still could get some cold weather, so um, I can carry this whole bucket thing in. This is a five foot tall piece of fence. Um, these pole beans usually go much higher, like you know, 12 feet or more. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, if I might have to add something to the top of this, or I might have to just try to prune them down and see what happens. Um, but you know, it's an experiment, and that's how we learn. So um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, and plant these up right now. Now make sure my bucket lid is snapped down. If I can, yeah, there we go. So I left this opening, I don't know how good you can see this, but uh, I wrapped the bucket, but I left this opening because there'll be green beans growing on the inside of this, this fence. So I left a big column in the middle here so I can reach in and pick the green beans that are on the inside as well as the ones that come and grow on the outside. So let me see if I can get this... Uh, it looks like we're okay as far as solution level. You want to be, you know, about a quarter of an inch or so. And uh, I'm just going to drop them in. That's how easy this is. Now, these these net cups have just a little bit, like a quarter inch uh, space around them. I think these are two inch peat pots. And I just fill them up with potting mix and planted my seeds in there. But these guys are, they, they're looking for something to grab onto. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start giving them a little training right now. Maybe I'll go over to this one. So that's what I love about hydroponics is it's so easy guys to, you know, to get started here. And hopefully you know, I've never done beans, uh, never done pole beans, never done, yeah, I did, I did do green beans one time, but I've never done the pole beans in here. So I'm going to just weave this in a little bit. This guy's ready to rock and roll. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this up on, uh, up in my window. I don't know how good you guys will be seeing it because the sun's coming in this window pretty bright. But um, let me give you a closer look at what they look like planted up in here. And uh, then I'll go ahead and put it in the window. So here's a closer look. You can see that there's, there's not much space around the pot and the, uh, and the net cup. You know, a little bit. And I could throw some clay pebbles just to cover that crack up a little bit. And I might do that just to keep the light from going in there. You know, I don't think it's a big issue. Um, but what's more important is that I put some foil, at least some strips of foil or foil tape or something, um, to block out as much of this um, white lid as possible. Um, so I'll do that after I end the video today. And um, that way I'll block out the light. You can see I put the foil on the bottom, even though I have a black bucket. I don't want it getting too hot. Um, only thing you got to watch, guys, is the first, you know, the first few days. It shouldn't be an issue. You shouldn't need to add anything, but you want to make sure that these are all staying moist. So just keep an eye on them, you know. 
if you're doing any any kind of hydroponics like that when you first put them in the bucket um, as you can see I've got a nice wide channel here so I'll be able to reach in and pick the beans inside and here's how I did it when I just zip tied it here I was going to run it all the way to the ground but then I would lose another you know um, you know like 14 inches or more of, of fence that I need up above so this seems to be good I, I zip tied it in four places and uh, it seems to be okay so I'm gonna put it up in the window and I'll show you guys what it looks like and we'll come back with some updates as this thing gets going hopefully hopefully we'll get some nice pole beans out of it I will do pole beans in the ground as well because they do fantastic and they give you a lot and they're delicious okay so there they are in the sunny window and like I said I'll, I'll leave them here until they get their roots into the solution and then I'll slowly acclimate them to being outside um, I'll be getting that dumpster out of here and then I'll put my greenhouse up I just had the the roof done so I have to get that out of here and then the greenhouse goes where my car is and that way I can run my hose right out of my studio and into the greenhouse so guys that's my little experiment with the pole beans I hope it goes successful I don't know if we're you know um, if that's you know they're not gonna have enough room to run but you know we'll see what happens if we prune them or I may add another length of fence to the top of that anyway hope you're all well remember take care of yourself take care of each other and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.